Welcome everyone today to our robot story, Robert Rumpus. Uh, today we're going to read a story about what possibilities uh, could be for robots and what robot you might want to make for yourself. These are all different types of robots. My mom and dad are busy. So just last night, they said, we decided to buy these fantastic robots to get you into bed. I thought they must be joking, but dad switched the robots on. Mom said, they're the latest models. What could possibly go wrong? Uh-oh, what do you think could possibly go wrong? That looks like a big crate of robots and they are dashing out the door. Hmm. I don't think I've ever had a robot babysitter before. The cookbook made spaghetti. I ate the lot off my plate. Cleanbot did the washing up. Everything seemed just great. Washbot ran fast. It said, will you be spick and span? I got my bath toys and down off the shelf, but that's when the rumpus began. Crocodile is my favorite toy. His teeth can really snap, but soon as wash Washbot spotted him, it got in a bit of a flap. Mm, Uh-oh, it seems like some things are going wrong. I don't know which bot would I would rather have. Wash bot, cook bot, clean bot. It said, dangerous animal in the water. Three warning lights flashed red. Warning, warning, warning. Then it went and slipped into dress bot, who sat down on teeth bot's head. Uh-oh, what do you think is going to happen next? Dressbot turned round and round like it didn't know what to do. And Teethbot started brushing its head and squirting toothpaste down the loo. If you don't know, loo is another word for toilet. So there's all this toothpaste getting squirted in the toilet. Cleanbot was all ready. It was trying to keep, was whizzing about. It was trying to keep things tidy. Tidy means clean. But Dressbot started putting pajamas on the robot that had to dry me. Uh-oh. Cookbot came in and stared, and its warning lights flashed too. Then it nodded and zoomed away like it knew, just knew what to do. I hoped it could sort out the mess. This is getting beyond a laugh. But all it did was put more spaghetti and tip it into the bath. Oh my goodness, can you imagine a bathtub full of spaghetti? I know that robots can't cry, but Cleanbot looked close to tears. Bookbot sat with a book on the bed and smoke coming out of its ears. No, that robot really does look upset. I think I'd be upset too if this was happening to me. And Drybot couldn't manage to get my pajamas off of its head. So in the end, I left them and got myself to bed. I think the robots were exhausted. They crashed around some more. Then everything went quiet. Until ah! the place was a bit of a mess. It hadn't worked quite like they said. I don't think they got a good night's sleep. Oh no. So the parents walked in the door to see this big mess.
with seven robots in the bed. Hmm. Spring catalog all the different robots. Think about what robot you want to make today. It could be for anything.